you can tell, it is SeaWorld update day. I'm allegedly going to show you around what's happening at the park, including taking a look at the icebreaker construction, the 2021 rumors, and anything else interesting we might find here at SeaWorld Orlando. Let's kick off the tour of SeaWorld, looking at the new for 2020 roller coaster, Icebreaker. Uh, progress continues to be made, looking pretty good here. Uh, not quite done with all their track work yet, they've still got a ways to go. Not a ways to go, a couple pieces I think. You can't see, like, this section over here looks all done. But kind of the spaghetti bowl section that'll be behind Bayside Stadium, not quite done yet as far as track work goes. You can see them working on the station over here. And it should be a fun ride. With um, where they're adding construction, I would guess probably opening sometime in April, as long as everything goes smoothly. But uh, it should be a fun ride. Also took up just really, just they really wedged it in there in between Mango Joe's and Bayside Stadium. So really kind of surprising they could fit a roller coaster over here. I just wanted to turn the camera on real quick back over here. We'll think that like having that airtime hill in the back and forth launch section should be pretty fun. Construction has moved along enough over here by the back spike that they opened up the pathway. So this should be a cool kind of interaction area where you can sort of walk right past and have the ride go over the top of you. So I shoot into the sun there. Another shot of the icebreaker area over here. You see this guy is lifting into place what I imagine will probably be the sign for icebreaker where you'll probably enter the ride and queue up Obviously right here next to Mango Joe's. And now we're here by the exit to the Wild Arctic where the gift shop is. And this is where you can really see, oh, the ride is in fact not done. So you got a whole bunch of track that, I think all the supports might be up, but you do have a lot of track that needs to be put up in this uh, back spaghetti bowl turnaround section. But it should be cool. Again, another one like uh, how I just talked about with the spike, how it's gonna go right over a pathway. And you have some pretty cool visuals for both the people watching and the people on the ride. So here is a feet up look now, at the ice breaker from the sky. For miles and miles. As the cabin rotates, keep an eye open for the lush tropical oasis right across the street from SeaWorld. That's Discovery Cove, where you can snorkel with rays and exotic fish. And enough about this year's roller coaster. Let's talk about next year's rumored roller coaster. SeaWorld's filed permits to redo this area of the park here. So the area in between Bayside Stadium and the wonderful Flamecraft Bar and uh, this is rumored to be home of a 2021 roller coaster project. Screamscape and others are saying this is probably going to be a B&M wing coaster, possibly even a new type of B&M wing coaster with some sort of rotating seats on the outside. So that's very exciting. And this is an area park, it's completely dead. Uh, they really don't use it for much of anything. They use it for special events and to lead more fuel to the fire. They're not even using it for the food and wine festival. It started this year, this weekend. There, there was no boots on this pathway at all. So. I'm guessing if you're going to see some construction, it'll probably start up pretty soon. Um, there's rumors it might involve a new front gate like we've seen at Cedar Point. I don't personally think we're going to see that, only because that would uh, make the, it a much more expensive project for SeaWorld. But, I mean, a wing coaster right here could be pretty neat. I wouldn't be surprised if it maybe goes over the entrance and goes to play with that lighthouse as well. But there we go. Um, I'm, sure, I'm not the biggest fan of wing coasters. Like, I don't really, not the big fan of Gatekeeper or Wild Eagle. But some of the smaller ones I've really liked, I've really enjoyed Swarm and I liked uh, Phoenix. So hopefully they get a goon. Anyway, two roller coasters in two years works for me. Good for you, SeaWorld. Here's a better view of the rumored 2021 20, coaster location from the Sky Tower here. Big news last month here at SeaWorld Orlando was they switched out the old One Ocean Shamu show to a new Orca Encounter show. Uh, the new show is more of an educational experience as opposed to where One Ocean was a lot of like entertaining and whales flopping around in music. Now it's more you learn about the animals themselves, which I would say the change is probably for the best. Lagoon Over here you can see Aquatic is building their new water slide. This is the information the racing water slide. to see how you can experience it. found this kind of interesting over here at Wild Arctic. I guess the ride is not functioning today and it is just the animal exhibits. Too much with the ride. I actually prefer just going to see the animal exhibits. But for some guests, I could see this being a disappointment. You can see these signs and boots are out, which means it is time for the Seven Seas Food Festival here at SeaWorld Orlando. And it's a fun time. If you haven't been to the festival before, it's really pretty enjoyable. 
Uh, 15 items, $67. 10 items, $52. And they have tons and tons of these boots. They also have a whole bunch of uh, craft beer all over the park. So it, it's really a good time. They also have concerts and stuff like that. So I always recommend coming to SeaWorld during this time of year. I mean, especially if you come on a Friday, you won't get a concert, but you'll get way less crowds and you'll be able to eat all the food. Over here by the Shamu Underwater Dining, sort of by where the swan boats are. Seems to be some construction going on. I'm not really sure what this is. I could see it being some sort of like back of the house infrastructure project. Over here, Journey to Atlantis is closed for its annual wintertime refurbishment. A bit of SeaWorld corporate news as it relates to the dolphin shows at the various parks. Uh, SeaWorld announced this past Friday that they have gotten rid of the maneuver in which the trainer would kind of sort of stand or ride a dolphin by its sort of like standing on its face or uh, nose kind of thing after pressure from Pete and others. And I gotta say, like, I can't really say they're wrong there. That probably isn't a thing that should happen, right? I do love the dining plan here at SeaWorld. Get my meals every time I come. Today I'm eating lunch here at the Waterway Grill. Got a big order of uh, waffle fries and mojo pork. One final update here, and that is last month, sometime in January, they announced at all SeaWorld and Busch Gardens Park that they're gonna be outsourcing the games department. So these employees used to be SeaWorld employees, they're now gonna be run by a third party. That'll do it for our update here on uh, SeaWorld Orlando. I'm at this park all the time, so I know it pretty well. Gotta say, pretty excited for the future with the, with the roller coaster this year, and now the roller coaster rumor next year. And excited to come back and try the food and wine festival, because that, uh, that's always a good time. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. We'll see you all next time.